Milestones of the Century. Old Faithful Geyser, the enduring landmark of breathtaking Yellowstone National Park. Here in 1925, American history was made as the park was officially opened. Symbolizing the winning of the territory, governors of four western states removed the barriers which opened almost two and a half million acres to the public. Attending the ceremony was Wyoming's Nellie Ross, first woman governor in history. Joining the festivities came the mighty Blackfeet Indians, dancing again on the land of their warrior fathers. When Governor Ross placed this wreath near Old Faithful, she was paying homage to the wonders of bountiful providence. Nature had endowed Yellowstone with a strange, savage beauty. Here is one of the most unspoiled regions on Earth. There are more geysers and boiling springs in Yellowstone National Park than there are in the landmass of all the continents combined. Boiling up from the unimaginably hot craters of the Earth are over 3,000 separate eruptions. When reports on this territory first came to public attention in 1810, no one believed them. Entire lakes of crystal, miles of mineral deposits, terraces like the moon, nonsense, people said. These were dreams of trappers. Today, the scoffed-at tales of yesteryear are witnessed in living reality by millions of visitors every year. Modern highways coursing through the wilderness have made Yellowstone a mecca for tourists. But visitors must be prepared for roadblocks like 500-pound bears. Science tells us the black bear is not much of a meat eater. That's nice. We'll just keep the car windows rolled up. Thank you. Look, fellas, there's a nice open convertible down the road. From its heights, the plateau drops to the thundering Yellowstone River, thousands of feet below. A powerful torrent streams 15 miles through the twisting gorge. Then, like a sea of boiling lava, plunges 315 feet. Cascading, hurtling, ever-changing, the wonders of Yellowstone soar above nature's eternal milestones of the century. Mm -hmm.